Hi guys, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to talk about pre-rendering static pages in Angular 16. In the previous video, I talked about Angular Universal server-side rendering and the client-side rendering. That was quite a long and extensive video. If you want to learn about that, check out my previous video on Angular 16, SSR and the CSR in Angular Universal. So this is the same project which I created in the last video. It contains two routes, one for the post, other for the home. And this is the routing, one is home and the post and home is just showing the static content and the post route is actually calling an API and loading the data on the UI. This is the project I'm running currently and if I go to the package.json file and I'm currently running the Angular Universal project and this is the command I'm running dev colon SSR. So currently I've already configured my server.ts file in the last video that only the post route is going to be server side rendered all other routes in our project will be client side rendered okay so if i go to my browser and show you how it's looking like this is the post routes you can see if i reload this page you will see that it will call an api and it will uh, show this data if i right click and click on the view page source you can see that this data is showing up over here it means that it is a server side rendered page now if we go to the home route and it is just showing this content and if i right click go to the page source this app root element is empty it means that this is the client side component this is what i showed you in the last video and also explained you that when do we need to use the server side component rendering when do we need to use the client side component rendering and how do we decide that which component needs to be server side component which component needs to be client side component now imagine that this particular component which is showing the post from the api is the server side rendered component and if we see in the documentation it shows that the server side rendering component uh, facilitates us with the first page loading speed quickly okay but if a server side component is calling an api it seems like that it will take more time than the client side component because it needs to wait for api response on the server and when the api is going to give its data then it is going to return the whole page to the client side so don't you think that it will take more time to actually load the page speed and uh, this particular line does not make sense that the first page load is going to be speed up uh, because of the server side rendering this is where the pre-rendering comes in actually pre-rendering are of two types one is the static pre-rendering and other is the dynamic pre-rendering and currently the server side rendering component which we are already doing is the dynamic pre-rendering okay and now we need to talk about the static pre-rendering and static pre-rendering actually resolve this problem that it does not have to call an api on the server whenever this route is hit on the browser okay so let's go ahead in our project and see how we can optimize it in our package.json file and this is the command it provides when we create a new angular 16 universal project this is the command it provides which is called pre-render and um, what it's gonna do is if i run this command pre-render it's going to actually call that api for that particular route at the build time when we are building this project before actually deploying it on the production okay so it is actually creating the file including the data of the api response this whole data in our dist folder so whenever the post route is going to be hit on the browser by any user then not that particular route which is the post is not going to call an api on the server instead it is going to check the dist folder whether this routes data is already existing inside it if it exists then it will just show that particular file quickly in millisecond instantly to the client and it does not have to call an api again and we do the pre-rendering of those pages whose data does not change so often usually the landing page needs to be pre-rendered of the web pages because landing page data are usually the constant data and for days and even for months that data does not get changed 
okay but any api data that gets changed after every second or a minute we don't do static pre-rendering we do the dynamic pre-rendering for that page but the landing page is contains the contact us section uh, some uh, testimonials footer header so landing page does not contain the api data usually and if the data is contains uh, uh, on the landing page from the api uh, then it does not change so often it changes after months so if i go to my disk folder enough explanation and go to the browser here you can see that it has created two folders home and the post if i go to the post index.html here you can see that it has already created this data from the api call and created this index.html file so again whenever user try to access this particular route it is going to show this file instantly rather than calling an api so this line from the documentation that it show the first page quickly with first content full paint it actually makes sense now with the static pre-rendering okay so whenever we will try to run this command from the package.json file this pre-render it's going to actually pre-render all the routes all the components which we are creating in angular 16 project but how to pre-render specific pages we don't want to pre-render all the components of our angular application some components might be private some components require extensive api calls data then we only want to pre-render like let's say about us page contact us page landing page uh, or some testimonial page and these pages other than that we don't want to pre-render those pages so let's add another command below this and i'm going to add the pre-render and i'm going to add the static okay and after this let me copy and paste above command all right let's add this double quotes and after this colon i'm going to actually add the pre-rendering and after this i'm going to add dash dash no guess and then dash routes and after this space dash dash routes and then i need to give the routes which i want to pre-rendered okay so make sure you spell it right uh, there is no spelling mistakes should be uh, on your side so this post route is going to be pre-rendered only now other than this uh, all other routes will not be pre-rendered and those folders will not be created over here so currently we only have two routes so that's why uh, we are ignoring this home route and only creating pre-rendering this post folder currently so i'm going to delete this uh, this folder currently and i want this to be regenerated now so i'm going to run this command now pre-render static uh, so i will be just rendered static so this new command is running now which i have created over here and it's going to generate that dist folder again and i hope that it is only going to create the folder for the posts and not for the home okay so it has actually created this dist folder but it's still running so let's see what happens if i go to the dist go to browser all right so it has only created and pre-rendered the page which is the posts so if i open it you can see that it has called the api returned the response and added the response over here with the assumption to ask that it will not change so often if the data changes after a month or two months we can pre-render this page again and deploy our project again to the server okay so one thing more i want to tell you that let's say that there is a dynamic route exists this is a static route but there can be post slash id we can slash one slash two then what we need to do is we don't need to write no guess over here we only write dash dash routes and after this we can add a slash one and then space we can add another one post slash two because dynamic routes can have unlimited number of values in it okay so we cannot actually create a uh, pre-render all the pages for all the dynamic routes because we are not sure how many dynamic routes can have it can uh, start from one to one billion numbers we don't want to fill up our folder here 
uh, this dist folder with a lot of folders uh, for each dynamic route so the reason we do it is that so any particular posts which are being opened by users so often we need to analyze our statistics for our blog or a web page we only want to pre-render those dynamic routes let's say there can be 10 or 20 posts which are being uh, viewed a lot so it's up to us it's up to our analytics and research for the web pages so this is the this is how we can uh, actually i've written it two times i only need to write it one times so it will work now so this is how the pre-rendering works and the idea behind pre-rendering exists uh, there is something called incremental page uh, generation uh, which is done through a third party library and that will take a code understanding about the express.js that's why i don't want to explain that in this video but in upcoming videos i'll try to explain and use that third party library and add some incremental static page generation in angular universal project so up till now that's pretty much it if you like my video subscribe my channel hit the like button and see you in the next videos thank you so much for watching